Hello students, how are you today? I think you are very well. I am well too. Today, again, I am going to take a class depending on your English book, class 4. Starting my class, dear students, you have to remember it. We are running a situation now. So, we have to wash our hands at least 20 seconds with water and soap. Dear students, and you have to obey your parents, okay? And in this situation, we have to watch these types of video and it can help you developing yourself. Dear students, today I'm gonna to present Another lesson from your English book, class 4. I am Sheikh Muhammad Ramat Ali, assistant teacher, 66 number Kamkata Gopt Primary School. Dear students, take a look in here. Today, I am going to present from your English book, class 4, unit number 27, lesson 1 to 2, write well, part of lesson A and B, page number 54. Dear students, take your books and open this page. Take a look in here again. Yes, we will write capital letters full stops, commas, exclamation marks and question marks in this dialogue. Starting this lesson, we have to remember some rules. Okay, dear students, I am going to show you in here. Okay, take a look in here. Yes, dear students, Use of full stops. We know it. Full stop. Okay. And then a sentence that tells something or gives a statement ends with a full stop. Okay. Take a look in here again. Every sentence begins with a capital letters. For example, it is a beautiful spring day. Number two, the name of a person or place begins with the capital letters. For example, Babul is a student of class 5. His father had a small grocery shop in Dublator. Clear to you all? And next, dear students, again take a look in here. Use a question mark. A sentence that asks something ends with a question mark. For example, what game do you want to play? Use of exclamation mark. Yes students, we use exclamation mark after a statement that express a strong feelings. A strong feelings. For example, Hurrah! We all the game. Okay, dear students. Dear students, take a look in here again. Okay? Use of comma. Use of <coughs> comma. Yes. We use comma to separate yes, no, 
and words such as oh, well, etc. for this sentence. For example, yes, take a look in here. I like to play football. Well, I like swimming too. We also use comma to separate three or more items in a sentence. We put comma after each item except the last. For example, they are kind, polite and caring. And then we also use comma after all before we address someone. <coughs> For example, Tani, listen to this song. Number four, we use comma between the day of the month and year. For example, he was born on January 15, 2002. Dear students, take a look in here again. Yes, look at these words. The mark, yes, used. There is an apostrophe, not a comma. Dear students, this is called, yeah, apostrophe, not a comma. For example, I visited Bhutan. I'm well. Okay, dear students. Use of quotation mark. Use of quotation marks. We use quotation marks to show that we are copying words that someone else say or wrote. Someone else say or wrote. When we write down the words of others exactly as they say them, we use quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of the words of others. We use comma before or after the quotation marks. We also start the first word inside the quotation marks with capital letters. For example, yes, take a look in here. Neil says, here is our quotation mark. I'm not feeling well. Amol, I want to go home. Can we read it later? Thank you, dear students. Use of hyphen. Use of hyphen. Yes, we put a hyphen when this helps to make the meaning clear. It is much shorter than a dash. Much shorter than a dash. It is used to separate parts of words or to join words together. For example, I love homemade cakes. Kite flying is a kind of hobby. There are 55 students in the class. We also use a hyphen to divide a word at the end of a line. I'm gonna to start today's lesson. Yeah. Take a look in here again. And I think you have already Yes, open your book. Yeah. Then, take a look in here again. Dear students. 
write capital letters, full stops, commas, exclamation marks, and question marks in the dialog. Okay, take a look in here, or you can take your book. Yes, yes, Munir is. Hasna Hena, a teacher? Nepa? Yes, she is. Muni, what does she teach? Nepa, she teaches English. Muni, where does she teach? Nepa, at a primary school in Dhaka. Muni, does Hasna Hena like teaching? Nepa, yes, she does. Muni, is she a good teacher? Nepa, yes, she is a wonderful teacher. Thank you, dear students. You have to write in here the necessary punctuation marks. Yes, dear students. I think you have done well. Okay, now, dear students, match with me. Dear students, take a look in here. Okay. Firstly, yes, this I will be capital letters. And then H, Hasna, Hena. And after this statement, we have to use question marks. Yes. Now, match with me. Dear students, I think you have very pleased it. Thank you, dear students. And I have some questions now. Take a look in here again. Yeah. How many questions are there in the dialogue? How many commas are there? How many exclamation marks are there? How many full stops are there? How many capital letters are there? Okay, you have to write the answer on your khata. Thank you dear students. I think you have finished it very well. Okay dear students, we have to match again. Okay, thank you. There are five questions in the data. There are three commas. Yes, there is one exclamation mark, there are four full stops, there are 16 capital letters. Thank you dear students. And I think we have done it very well. Dear students, today I have a homework for you all. Okay? Yes, act out the dialogue in activity A. Thank you dear students for watching this online teaching. And again, I am telling you, stay at home, stay safe. Thank you all dear students.